equivalent fractions. The Pizzeria Piero makes delicious pizzas. Amy and Leo decided to go there for dinner. Amy is going to eat one third of a pizza, and Leo is going to eat two sixths. Who is going to eat more pizza? We're going to go through it slowly. Since Amy wants to eat one third of a pizza, Piero has to cut the pizza into three equal parts and give her one slice. To give two sixths of a pizza to Leo, Piero has to divide the pizza into six equal parts and give him two slices. How many slices is Amy going to eat? Excellent! How many slices is Leo going to eat? Excellent! Will they both eat the same number of slices? They aren't going to eat the same number of slices, but will they both eat the same amount of pizza? Very good! Their pizzas are divided in different ways, but they will both eat the same amount. When two fractions represent the same amount, they are called equivalent fractions. Let's look at some more examples. Are one half, three sixths, and two fourths equivalent fractions? In order to find out, the first thing we have to do is represent them. We're going to divide this bar into two equal parts and color one of them to represent a half. We're going to divide this bar into six equal parts and color three of them to represent three sixths. And we're going to divide this bar into four equal parts and color two of them to represent two fourths. Now that we've represented them, we can answer the question. Are they equivalent fractions? Well done! They are equivalent fractions. Now we're going to see what happens when the numerator and denominator of a fraction are the same. For example, six sixths, four fourths. Just like before, the first thing we have to do is represent the fractions. To represent six sixths, we need to divide the bar into six equal parts and color six of them. To represent four fourths, we need to divide the bar into four equal parts and color four of them. Now you try making an equivalent fraction that's different to the previous ones. Very good! All these fractions are equivalent, and they also represent a complete unit. Remember, all fractions that have the same numerator as denominator are equivalent to each other and they are also equivalent to a unit. Now you know how to find equivalent fractions and that whole fractions are equal to a unit. Keep practicing so you don't forget what you've learned.